Hello students, I am Mom Rose. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell for you to be updated on my upcoming videos. Happy learning! For today, we will discuss how to get the domain of a function. The domain of a function is the complete set of all possible values of x or independent variable. So what are we waiting for? Let's start! In letter A, we have y is equal to 3x minus 2, and in letter B, we have 3x squared minus 4x. These are all polynomial functions. A polynomial function is a function having non-negative integer powers of x. So if we are given a polynomial function, then our domain is an element of real numbers. Let's proceed to letter C. x squared plus y squared is equals to 1. The first step here is to isolate y on one side, so we'll have to transpose negative x squared to the other side. So we have here y squared is equals to negative x squared plus 1. The next step is to place square root on both sides, so we'll have y is equals to the square root of quantity negative x squared plus 1. This is a radical function. To get the domain of a radical function, we have to take note of the value of the radicand, that is what's inside the radical sign. The radicand must be greater than or equal to 0 or else our answer will be imaginary. Substituting 1 or negative 1 in our x will give us a radicand of 0. While substituting 0 in our x will give us a radicand of 1. Therefore, our domain here is negative 1 and positive 1 including the numbers in between them. Or in symbol, we have x as an element of r where negative 1 is less than or equal to x and x is less than or equal to 1. Number 4 is still a radical function. As you can see in our radicand, the x here should be equal or greater than 4 so that we can avoid negative numbers. Therefore, our domain here is x is an element of r where x is greater than or equal to 4. We are now on letter E. This is a rational function. A rational function is in fraction form where our numerator and denominator are polynomials. The domain of our rational function are all values of x except those values which will make our denominator 0. Remember, a fraction with a denominator of 0 is undefined. Let us now focus on our denominator. What value of x here will make our denominator 0? You're right, it's 1. Therefore, our domain here are all real numbers except 1. We are now on letter F. That symbol is a floor function of x plus 1. If you are given a floor function or a ceiling function, then your domain are all values of real numbers. To understand better the floor and ceiling function of x, let us consider the following examples. You will get integers as an answer for floor and ceiling functions. In floor functions, it makes you consider the nearest integer down. For example, we have here 1.3 goes down to 1, 4.9 however very close to 5 still goes down to 4, 7.6 goes down to 7, and 10.1 goes down to 10. While well, ceiling function make you think of the nearest integer up. For example, in number 1, 3.1, no matter how close it is to 3, it still goes up to 4, 1.8 goes up to 2, 8.4 goes up to 9, and 14.7 goes up to 15. That is all for today. Thank you and see you on our next video lesson.